I said if my kid ever told me he wanted to be yeah. a comic, I would go in the other room and get a gun, and I'd walk back in the living room and just look him in the eyes and go, be funny and fucking end it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I then my kid would about... fucking sell out. That kid would be on top of comedy. <laughs> Joining us, uh, he'll be headlining Go Bananas in Cincinnati tomorrow through Saturday at GoBananasComedy.com. Sean Patton. Hey. hey welcome back to the show. Wait a minute. Yeah, I think I was, last time I was here, you we were both going to Cincinnati. The Whoa. next day. Oh, right. we, had a we were. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we both got upgraded. Yeah. And I was shocked by how, and I don't mean to put your business out there, how nervous of a flyer you are. Yeah. I, I was shocked. Hate. I didn't know that. I was surprised. Oh, surprised. yeah, yeah. Really? I was surprised. It was so surprised. Super surprised. Because yeah. I, well, I'm a nervous flyer, but I hide it well. Yeah. And I, I hide it pretty well unless it gets, that might have been a particularly rocky ride or something. It so if it gets rocky ride. at all, you you uh, you get tense? I feel like, but you should. I look, I mean, I, I, I hold it in pretty good, but if yeah. it starts going like pretty hit. And also depending on my mood. Sometimes I'm ready to die. <laughs> yeah. exactly. having a bad day on the land fucking put me in the sky so I, I get up there land, I, I go today and today it's gonna happen go bring yeah. it on air bitch <laughs> yeah. that was a that was a that was a good week then because you seemed very nervous about it. Like, i don't yeah. want to die i don't want to die that week. well this week that week i was not into dying because because i i find i don't like that guy though who like in those moments will say shit like well you know there's i mean you're safer up here than you are. It's like, shut up. Yeah. Don't, don't shut hate the fuck. that. Yeah, yeah stop being anything. negative to make this a positive. Yeah, no, but you you know, one of them with a bunch of other we're random people positive. on it were driven yeah. into a fucking building. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, so yeah. shit happens. Yeah, sometimes that fucking plane does go down, and then you can't find that guy to be like, hey, hey. Well, that, huh? isn't, there, yeah. isn't there funny what you put on it, though? Like, the city also. You're like, the one that's going to go. Forget even terrorism. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just talk like the thing, like the story, the big national story. It's. You're like it's never gonna be going from like Greensboro, South Carolina. It to is like, though. To like no, but in your mind it's not going to be. But exactly what it is, yeah. it's, it's Malaysian flight, whatever. Yeah, you know, like, it's just a random flight that you just that, fucking. Yeah, that guy, that guy who's like who's not afraid to file it and talks about. I like. I hope he that person is in a plane crash and everyone survives except him. Yeah, isn't that an <laughs> Alanis Morissette lyric? No, oh, that, that isn't it ironic. It's one of her non-ironic, ironic non-ironic, moments. ironic, ironic. The only yeah. ironic part of that song is the is is its existence. Yeah, that's what that's yeah. the whole thing. It was a whole work. Thank it you. actually thank is. you, Becky Rodriguez. Thank you. From like a straight up like grammatical sense, it is a perfect lesson in irony. Yeah, like she was attempting to be ironic. And Do you think she was that obtuse with the idea of the song? I think that's probably how dumb a lot of the record execs are too. Like they don't know what irony actually. They're like, this is great. This is smart. I love it. She's you an know? angel. People are gonna learn. People are learning. People are learning about irony. And we're learning about you know, platinum albums. Yeah, she's making them. <laughs> yeah, jagged yeah. little pill. I was mean, having it too. It goes. Here's a spoon. He goes. Isn't that ironic? I need a knife. Yeah. He goes. I just met the girl of my dream. I just met the guy of my dreams. I met his beautiful that's wife. His wife. He goes, yeah. Are you gay? <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Isn't <Rick>. that ironic? <laughs> Don't you think? It's not right. Trying to think of other lyrics. Yeah. Is that like a? Uh, oh, I, I, why would I get in this cab? I'm already late. Yeah. <laughs> and my plane's crashing. I go. Well, isn't that nice? Yeah. Uh, I've never done. I've been afraid to do this. <laughs> we were talking before the break, before you came in about porn. No. Uh, that was yesterday. I do also hate right. when you find a no smoking <laughs> sign on, on your cigarette <laughs> break, dude. Yeah. I won Just the go smoke anywhere else. No, in my luck, <laughs> yeah. I'll win the lotto and die the next day. Right? <laughs> am I right? Am I yeah. right or am I wrong? Before the break, we were talking about people, uh, men with dual families, with like two families. Because we didn't have, we were talking about having a shitty father. You mean like Gambino Bonanno? Like you belong to both? No, not crime like, families. <laughs> Actual platonic. Having a shitty father, yeah. like me and Dan and, oh. and, and Isabella over here. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> I think you've seen the recipient of the I second generation of wolves. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You've yeah. seen what my work has done there. <laughs> there it is. But we're talking about like, um, you know, if you have a shitty dad... You like you have step be, siblings? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying you want to be a better. If you were to have a kid, right? Make, we, uh, you know, Lewis was an example of that. Like Lewis J. Gomez, great oh, father, yeah. really tough. You know, had a dad that got murdered, was not in his life. And then he's a great dad, right? So we were saying, how fucked or up? He's at least it, a living dad. Yeah, he's a living yeah, dad. He's alive. My thought was, I think what would fuck me up psychologically more than having a dead dad would be having a dad that's alive with another family. And hiding it from you, like living with you at your house oh, and you with your mom, like, okay. and then goes and has another family. Like lifetime. There's a character on level. Billions, Dollar Bill, that has that. Yeah, my dad didn't do that. But my dad, like, 
like a legit. Your dad went out and was just like a single dude, swanky he, swinger. Dude, yeah. he fucking was an indoor cat. Oh, and they let him yeah. outside, and he did not come home. <laughs> oh, Dan's He's dad like, wore sun. I'm an outdoor cat now. Just dad's dad wore sunglasses. He wore sunglasses at night for sure. <laughs> dude, my dad definitely had. I remember. Uh, Is your dad still alive? Do you know? No, my dad died when I was 14. Oh shit! Yeah, he went out. Oh, he went out. Him and Lewis's dad killed each other. Uh, yeah, in a, in a duel. Like, it was pretty uh, like of AIDS or another STD. Oh, or... I wish. He, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, not far. Hep C no. that turned into cirrhosis. Really? Yeah. That eventually yeah. became AIDS. My dad, that's because he got Hep C from a Posthum- <laughs> his body. Posthumously, it became his AIDS. ashes got AIDS. I hope he got the Hep C from a dirty tattoo needle where he was getting his other family no, name man. tattooed. Raw dog. <laughs> oh, dude, that would have been great. He was getting Skip, his favorite son. His other son that I don't know about. That's where he got the <laughs> Who's Marcus? Out about it. Uh, uh, it's actually Marquis, yeah. and uh, that is your brother. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and he is actually a D1 prospect. <laughs> uh, and on some level, that would be ironic, dying from that tattoo. Yeah, no, he got, isn't it ironic? What he he uh, got it, I think, banging some piece of fucking lake trash. Which lake? Like Lake Tahoe? L- uh, lake uh, Clear Lake. In Northern California, ironically titled Clear Lake, yeah, it wasn't clear. <laughs> is where he got some hips. <laughs> he got murky some as fuck, mur- <laughs> dude. Not only that, but he, he was fucked a, a wide mouth bass. <laughs> yeah, 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 my dad was into fish. He was like Troy McClure. <laughs> My dad was had the Troy McClure sexual would fetish. Go, Dan's dad used to go oaky noodling with his dick. <laughs> yeah, he goes, hey, do you want to go? Uh, we goes, get catfish. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Arms up. I, I feel like what I feel. Uh, yeah, he goes, there he is. He, he goes, you want to go to the fish market? Just look around. <laughs> I like the idea of your dad banging a rainbow trout to a fish album. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm yeah. going to make this last the whole solo. Goes, oh, yeah. Have you ever had tantric <laughs> fish <laughs> sex? <laughs> you fuck as long as they jam. Rainbow oh, trout. I ain't gay. I ain't no gay fish. <laughs> Be- Dude, pes- what's crazy pestiality. is that my dad got hep C from this lady, yeah. and it killed him, but it also killed his sister because he she was a nurse, my aunt. She came to take care of him, and he threw up blood, and it got in her eye, and she Jesus got hep C. Christ. Oh, yeah. my God. And then last Thanksgiving when I'm at my grandma's. That's, when, that's, back, so when his dad, that's back when Dan's dad was dating Hepatitis Cheryl. <laughs> right, right, right. Hep Cheryl? Yeah. That, that sounds like a bad scene, like a bad scene in Oz. Yeah. yeah. Like like your, your BZ gave life. her a fucking yeah, yeah. Uh, Jay goes, what's your name? Oh, my name's AIDS Jay. <laughs> Ah. What are you in for? Oh, Gonner- Gonorrhea Gary? Lot- uh, yeah. Yeah. What are you in for? A lot of bloody stuff. A lot of stuff. A lot of. Mo- well, I bleed a lot, so I leave a lot of evidence behind. <laughs> and I also finger paint with my blood. It's <laughs> yeah. a whole thing. My. What's fun? Uh, this is. Anyway, th- I usually coat myself up. in se- my own semen. <laughs> this is so fucked whatever. up. This is fucked up, but it made me laugh. My, right. I was playing. I always play cards with my grandma when I see her. We play. And there's no TV in that room, but college football's always on because it's like Thanksgiving. So I right. will keep the TV on to listen to what college football game's going on. And my grandma and I are playing cards. And it's like, I cured my hepatitis C in 14 days. And it's just like, I'm like, hey, Nana! I'm trying to distract her. Oh, over here. Both of her kids got taken out by this disease that this commercial is just talking shit about. Where it's like, and I cured it. Scott free in a week and my grandma's like yeah gin <laughs> yeah, every they, time they... I hear it it gets me uh, warm fuzzies all over again you are a fantastic grandson oh thanks man you really wait, are wait wait what do you mean like you every year at least once plays, yeah I mean plays I, cards yeah. with the grandma yeah well, I go but out he goes out there and spends like a weekend there yeah but I'm all she has yeah in literally Colorado? Yeah. no in San Francisco north of San Francisco but he really does County, but he really does is... what he's just saying he's like sitting there playing gin rummy yeah yeah. Stuff, Did you, you know? say Lake County? Lake County. Get away from that. Get away from the lake, man. No, my grandma lives on the lake. Move her out of there. Yeah, she's she's not, she likes it. <laughs> all of her old friends are there, and they're all dying. She's so not, she's not fucking sad. Is she still fucking Hepatitis Carl? Yeah. <laughs> she got, I go, Hep, Hep Emmett. You have to give an old name. <laughs> <laughs> Hepatitis Emmett comes Hep, around Hep every Herman. once in a while. Yeah. Oh, dude. oh my Herman. I've never. What are, are there other? Are there other hepatitises of the other twenty-five letters of the alphabet? There's A and B. There is A and B. A you get hey. from eating shit or like food. You can get it from. I thought food. B is yeah. also you can get the from beep, eating beep, shit. Beep, 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 go Bayside. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> yeah. Um, but she's the she's the dead. She she the... gets you, but now they can cure it. My ah. dad got it in ninety-seven. Died of it in ninety-seven. My aunt died of it in 07. and she like extended her life. She was boozing. Aunt Karen could rip it. Would your dad? Would you? Would you? If you were time, could you would you travel back in time with the cure to cure your dad, or would you let him go? 
Did Ooh, you have any, that's a good question. Yeah, did you have uh, any love yeah. for your father at all? Yeah, I'd cure it. Yeah, just to talk shit. So I could fight him. Just fight him, yeah. Like a sure. boy named Sue. <laughs> yeah. Gary, I'm going to cure you, and that's then I'm going to kick the shit out of you. That's a great fucking My country song Sue. right there. How do you do? <laughs> My name is Hepatitis Dan. <laughs> How do you do? <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, yeah. I would go back and save him. You spell him. Sue with a C and like an I'd umlaut definitely on top. Sa- I would definitely save my aunt. <laughs> yeah, with a Sue. Or like C Dominic a- Sue. Yeah, yeah, if I had to go pick, like if you made me choose in my aunt or my dad, that'd be tougher. This this is a Don't great do it. this is a Sophie's great choice. Uh, version of this song is well, I time I went and traveled back in time with the cure for. Hepatitis. Found my dad. And I found my dad drinking at a bar. It was the bowling alley I worked at. I walked in. I said, "I said, hey, Dad, I missed you." He said, "It's five o'clock somewhere." And he said, "I'm at Margaritaville. Who are you?" Oh, what's your name? Hey, it's the big-headed kid I had with the mean bitch. <laughs> 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 just fucking cuts you to the core. Like, oh. the big kid. I noticed you're staring down at my. I noticed you're staring down at my. The bitch I thought was a big mouth bass. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I thought, thought she, she was, was a, a fish. <laughs> Turns out she was Irish. I bet you're looking down at my quarter length socks into some slides, but dude, my dad didn't wear socks at all. No, my dad wore boat shoes in fucking corduroy shorts with no underwear. I love boat shoes. That's fucking great. and liquor no wonder sh- slides. So much dude, my dad dressed for cirrhosis. <laughs> they say they say dress for the disease you want. <laughs> My dad dress. <laughs> Uh, oh fuck. man! I wear a lot of scarves. Uh, I, wear a, a lot of scar- uh, I wear a lot of scarves on my head, prepping yeah. for cancer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I go, I go around jaunt in sweatpants <laughs> for an AIDS day. A lot of jackets. I'm dressing for scurvy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> gotta go. Yeah. Get, get some line. Yeah, um, yeah. My dad didn't wear socks, and yeah, no underwear. I believe it. I bet it were his feet ripe. No, he had like tough Islander feet. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's, 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 they don't smell anymore. They don't sweat. Yeah, he just toughens he up. Burned off all the. He burned all the. Uh, also, he's plans. just drinking enough alcohol to sterilize anything on his body. <laughs> What, dad, I'm surprised dad, my dad didn't dad knock that. iodine? Yeah, I'm, so, I'm surprised my dad didn't cure the hep C the second it touched his fucking alcohol-rich bloodstream. She just catches on fire. Hep C, you say? I'll knock that out by the night. Yeah. He goes, hep C, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I get it when I'm bored. Yeah. I just <laughs> watch it. something to do. I heal like Wolverine. <laughs> you know, I go out there and give myself lockjaw just for fun. <laughs> yeah, just do it. Wait, what's your dad's name? Dean? Gary. That's Gary. why we're sons of Gary. Sons his dad, he has a shitty dad named Gary, too. Oh, man. That's why we're so close. My dad's name's Tim. He's pretty cool. Yeah, Tim does sound like a good dad name. Yeah, Tim's a good dad name. He's Tim a good Patton? Guy. Tim Patton. Good yeah, guy. Tim Patton and his kids are coming over. Like, I fucking love Tim. Were either you guys doing Moon Tower that year that they gave everyone yep. flashlights? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and... I wasn't there that year. I was there I that year. You were, yeah. And yeah, everybody yeah. pretended like they didn't go immediately to their room and use it. Okay. I was I was <laughs> very open about it. Everyone pretended like, no, I didn't. I'm, I'm going to go. I didn't, I didn't pretend. I was travel. embarrassed that I didn't finish in it. I think I've owned two. <laughs> I think I've owned two. I've never utilized either. I felt like a serial killer. Because like. Bet. <laughs> to see the rubber moving, like, what is this? Is this an organ? Is this a dead person's organ? It's fucking weird. Which, which mount did you use? Uh, what do you mean? Because they had the the vaginal opening, the oh, anal yeah. opening, and then just the slit. I didn't know that. I thought I just opened the top like a thermos, and it was there. You must have not got the deluxe. <laughs> I didn't get the deluxe. Damn, dude, that's what you and your headliner at and Moon then, Tower. And then everyone. I was also at the Radisson. Did they? Did all the Radisson people I was at get the Radisson? Oh, okay, I didn't. You know, it's like a it's like a Rambo knife. Yeah. yeah. And you go. Oh my God. There's a compass on the bottom. And, there's, and a, there's a whole sewing kit. Everyone. Every, yeah. Tweezers. Yeah. There's you can a stitch up a wound. There. You can open there's, a, bu- there's one single match. A blue tip, though. You can light it on anything. Strike yeah. anywhere. <laughs> it's actually, they recommend you uh, open a bottle of wine with it while using it. Don't you understand? This dildo is the best. And, ev- <laughs> and, every- can- and everyone just left them in the hotel rooms. It can fuck things that make a belly goat. <laughs> <laughs> So, I know because I trained it. Colonel Troutman. I gave you a good job in amateur porn. <laughs> well, of course you know that night. That dildo's built by the best. Uh, was, uh, that, was that Stallone you just did? Yeah. It was uh, his Rambo. I mean, it's particularly my Rambo. Yeah, it's a Stallone in the key of Rambo. 
Key O. Can't even get a job parking I fucking st- I still, cars. I, could, I still have never seen the first Rambo. You've never seen First Blood? I know. I've always just. I've only seen the one where he's uh, in the jungle. No! We had one of the yeah. most fun, it's best one is Rambo. First, uh, first Blood is Blood. easily we, the best one. We uh, Don't blow it yet. I know. So we just do a fun thing on... Yeah, on the Lost at Sea. Joe DeRosa has get. a very interesting take on First Blood. That's a little laugh. preview for the Lost at Sea tapes. He recorded on the Impractical Jokers cruise. Oh, you guys both there? Yeah, oh yeah. yeah, just living, living. I mean, do you even want to talk about it? Or is it just... I mean, we we have a we have a bunch yeah. of episodes that we recorded on the boat. Fun hang though. Derosa was there. Fun DeRosa hang, and he there. didn't jump off. Okay, one. We thought he might he have Saturday to. night. I thought last night he was going to go for it. <laughs> he was he, sad. He was like sad drunk. And he's like everyone he drunk and he thought everyone was mad at him at different times. And then you'd be like, I don't think it's that big of a deal. And he'd go. What did I do, man? Why me? Why always me? I'm like, it's fine. I don't think it's any of that big of a deal. He goes, I said, what did I do, man? And then he'd always come back like 15 minutes later and go, he goes, oh, they said they were joking. They weren't mad at me. Yeah. So, <laughs> like, and then yeah. every time you talk to Nate or I, it was like, do you want to play craps or go get ice cream? Yeah. I heard on I, craps and ice cream. Dude, I heard this story about him at Edinburgh a few years ago. Nate? Uh, no, about uh, DeRosa that... His roommates kept putting dead bees what? in his room just to hear him freak out. <laughs> That's really funny. Who are his roommates? It's two, uh, Ari was one of them. Okay. Ari's the one who told me the story. And then, two, I, I forgot who they had, but two Brits, I think. But they had Oh, like, just some Scottish they had, guy? They had like a, this a, guy, a yeah. soft-bodied man loses his shit. <laughs> hearing a dead bee in his bed. He, he can't handle a wasp. Oh, it's like one of those. Oh, I fucking <laughs> damn near throws his glasses at it. It's <laughs> great yeah. again. You can literally hear a man's head explode. <laughs> come here, come comes in, in. Goes, Bees! <laughs> no! Bees! Bees! Ah, oh, it's great. Oh, you want to see a man fly through the roof? <laughs> like a bee himself? Hey, you should leave a comment below. One of us might be in a depression spiral and read it. And it oh. might just push us all the way down. Yeah, yeah. Man, that can get pretty dark. Gets weird. So look forward to reading it.